The reason I became a police officer is just the um, just serving people. I really enjoy serving people, I, and what better job to be able to serve people than when they're at their worst. You know, I still have a, a huge passion for this job, even after nine and a half years. The, the ideal job, in my opinion, to be able to help people. I've had my moments, um, especially working in domestic violence, and our office also works with child abuse. It really takes a lot out of you because I don't think we are always emotionally prepared to see those You have things. to treat people fairly regardless of what they've done. You have to treat them with, with dignity, respect, um, even though they have just, for example, murdered a child um, or sexually assaulted somebody. You do hit that point in your career where at one point or another where you start feeling jaded, you start feeling resentful um, because you're no longer coping in a, in a healthy way, a lot of it gets internalized. Um, but, you know, luckily for me, I, uh, I have, I'm in a position where I can offer all of those emotions and all of those feelings to God. Uh, I believe that God helps me, that it is a blessing from God that He is allowing me to be emotionally, emotionally in a position to be able to think logically in these situations and help people as opposed to um, harming myself in the process, emotionally and psychologically. I think every encounter with the public has uh, the potential to, to build a good relationship. I will say, it, it gave me the opportunity to meet a lot of families that reminded me of my family growing up, that, you know, a, a single parent home that needed assistance, that needed a little bit of extra help, um, and boy, does, does it is it rewarding when you get to, to meet and get involved with those families um, and offer them resources and, and give them kind of uh, a little push in life when, when they need it. It was difficult. Last year was one of the most difficult years, actually the most difficult year of my career. You feel absolutely hated for essentially just doing a job. Um, and a job that I think is very valuable. It was mainly draining for, because I had to see my family get dragged through this. Um, you know, my wife worried about people finding out where we live, um, me not being home as much as I should be to take care of our newborn at the time. Um, my four-year-old, like, literally clinging on to my pants as I'm walking out the door. I was raised by my mother. Um, she raised four of us and just close to the church, being close to the church, um, teaching us to love people um, regardless of, of what they've done. And it's difficult. We, I'm sure we've all encountered that. It's hard to, to love people, but we know what we need to do. The Bible tells us exactly. It's easier said than done, but uh, at the end of the day, I think um, I know that I have that obligation and I have to answer to God. So that teaches me to find ways to, to love people even uh, regardless of what they've done. Say, uh, for a while I actually told myself that I don't think I would encourage anybody to take on this job, uh, especially with what happened last year. Um, but it's slowly going back to what I, how I originally felt and why I am where I am. I mean, this is one of the best jobs in the world.